Hey guys, welcome back and Merry Christmas. As you can already tell, this is going to be my what I got for Christmas video. It is Boxing Day when I'm filming this and I'm hoping to post it later on tonight, same day. I don't know how some people like film and edit and upload their what I got for Christmas videos on Christmas Day, like major props to you if you are someone who does that. I hope you guys have all had a wonderful Christmas or holiday season or if you don't celebrate anything, just like a great week or month. I had a really great Christmas with my family this year. You guys know picking out gifts and seeing someone open a gift that I got them is one of my absolute favorite things. Gift giving is my love language. Thank you mom for making us all take that quiz to find out our love languages. But I just had so much fun and I'm really excited to share with you guys what I got this year because I wasn't able to do one of these videos last year which really bummed me out because for those of you who don't know, the first video I ever posted was what I got for Christmas and it's still up on my channel. I actually have three up. I'll link them in the description box down below if you are wanting to cringe basically. A couple quick things before we get into it. Thank you to anyone who got me a gift this year. I really appreciate it. And anyone who just took the time to wish me a Merry Christmas. And also I'm going to link everything in this video in the description box in case you want to pick up any of these items for yourself. You know you got some Christmas money burning a hole in your pocket. This will give you some ideas. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I think I've mentioned this in past years but my family is really not big on stockings. We've always had a stocking but there's always just like a few little things in it like chocolates and stuff like that. So the only things in my stocking this year that weren't chocolate were a Starbucks gift card which is always really appreciated. It says it's from Santa and I got like a little mini bottle of Bailey's as well. And then surprisingly I only got one other gift card this year. I feel like that is a first but it is for chapters which you can't go wrong. I'm so excited to go spend this. I have a stack of books at the cabin that I need to read still so I'm probably gonna buy some kind of cute home thing with this. This next item is my big main gift from my mom this year and really the only thing I asked for and I'm so excited to have this. It is a Fitbit. This is the Fitbit Ulta. Since I got Tigger, I have just been walking so, so much, you guys. We walk all the time. Not today, though, because it is so cold. It was minus 32 yesterday, and overnight it got to minus 38. So we're just doing quick, like, outside to pee kind of runs. No big walks today because we will both die. But I digress. Most days we do get in at least a couple hours of walking and I've just really been wanting something to track my steps and my calories burned and everything like that because when you're just out walking your dog it's not like using like a machine at the gym that's going to tell you how many calories you burned and everything like that. So I am so so excited to have this. I actually have it on right now but I have to show you another corresponding gift before I show it to you. So one of my gifts from James was actually a band for my Fitbit. My mom just got me the like dark plum kind of version, but I really wanted this band. Honestly, when I was like looking into Fitbits, I was like, I kind of only want one if I can get like a soft pink band because that's my favorite color to wear. So obviously my mom and James planned this gift together, but this is what it looks like. I love how small and sleek it is. And part of the reason I wanted the pink is so that it would match my little Tiffany bracelet that I'm always wearing. It's got like the little pink enamel heart and it does match perfectly. I love the color of it. It's super comfy too. I slept with it on last night because it does also track your sleep and I didn't even notice that I had it on. I should probably take it off though because I'm talking so much with my hands. It's probably adding steps. I have noticed that it's not like 100% accurate. Like I like scrubbed the kitchen counters yesterday when we got home really late and it was like right after midnight and so it like had started over and I got like hundreds of steps from like scrubbing the counter. But anyways, moving along to my smaller gifts from James. We didn't really do stockings either this year like we got each other some stocking stuffer type things But to be honest, we didn't actually wrap anything We made each other close our eyes and we just like brought the gifts out one by one So the first thing he got me is really cute and thoughtful But it requires a bit of an explanation because I am going to exchange it, but it is a brie baker So it's like a little ceramic like crusette style pot. It looks like this and it's meant specifically for baked brie. So I actually made a baked brie for my family's Christmas Eve celebration and James knew I was making that so he saw this and he thought it would be super helpful to get for me which is so nice but the brie I had was actually too big to fit in it and it wasn't like a style of baked brie that should cook in something like this. But of course he didn't know that and you guys know I eat plant-based most of the time so like realistically I'm probably not going to be making too many baked brie's. He actually gave that to me to open on the 23rd so I could use it for Christmas Eve, but yeah, I will be exchanging that. It's also from Chapters if any of you guys wanna pick that up for yourself. So I'm gonna have a little mini shopping spree at Chapters in the new year. My next gift is something I've been wanting for so, so long, and that is a Silpat. If you guys are unfamiliar with these, they are a baking mat that you use to line baking sheets and it's non-stick, they heat up evenly. They're really great for any kind of like baked goods, really good for like making your own french fries, anything like that. 
They basically replace parchment paper and I use so much parchment paper and you guys know I do try to be more environmentally friendly so I'm really excited to have this. I'm sorry I keep shifting over because of the dreaded light dots. Another thing James got me was this paw prints desk frame so it's a little picture frame duo and basically you're supposed to put a picture of your dog on one side and then I believe it comes with everything you need to take a cast of your dog's paw print for the other side. I think this is so adorable and this sounds really bad but I don't think I'm going to use it. First of all Tigger does not like having his paws touched so I don't think he would enjoy having like a cast made of his paw and I don't really love the color of it which James knew he was like this is definitely like a risky thing I wasn't sure if you would like it. I do think it's really cute but it's just like not quite my style. I feel really bad saying that because I feel like I'm coming across ungrateful but I promise you I'm not. James also got me a bobble water bottle if you have been watching me for a really long time then you know I love these water bottles and I haven't had one for the longest time because they don't sell them anywhere anymore like just the original sport charcoal filter water bottles that they used to make you can't find them anywhere except for on Amazon which I'm not like a big Amazon shopper I've always thought this style was just for like fruit infusion and things like that but this one actually does come with a carbon charcoal filter so that's really awesome because I have been missing having one of these so bad Bobble if you want to hit me up and send me some of your original water balls, I would really appreciate it because those are still my favorite. James also got me a cookbook which I had never seen before until the other day. I was out shopping and I was at Chapters and I actually texted James a picture of this and he picked it up for me and I'm so happy. It's called the Edgy Veg. It is 138 carnivore approved vegan recipes which is so perfect because like I said I eat plant based. James doesn't. He eats a regular omnivore diet I guess you would call it. I really don't own many cookbooks. I'm a big Pinterest user when it comes to recipes but this looked really good and just so perfect for us once again. So I can't wait to start using this. Definitely follow me on Snapchat. I will update you guys on there how I end up liking this and what recipes I try and everything. Then I also got a few cute things from Kate Spade. First is actually this crystal wine glass. It's just a crystal wine glass, but it says Belle of the Ball on it. If you guys can see that, it's just like really faint and light. So pretty. I've been drinking more wine lately and I'm like trying to get more into it and like learn more about it. And then to go along with that, James got me this really cute set of Kate Spade wine toppers. We were just talking about this a few days ago, but I used to have this really cute like ornate glass wine topper from Pier 1 that was like a little cockatoo and James broke it at some point. I don't remember when, but I was really sad about it. So, and I'm pretty sure he picked these out before we even talked about that again recently. They're two different sizes, two like little funky looking owls and they're black, gold, and white. So these are going to look really nice in our kitchen. And another thing from Kate Spade, if you guys have seen any of my What I Got For Christmas or birthday videos in the past, then you guys know Kate Spade and Tiffany's are like my two things. So this is a little adorable, catch-all trinket dish. James got me another one of these from Kate Spade from our anniversary and I think I actually like this one better. It is obviously a heart and it says in the right place and it's baby pink so it's going to match my beauty room. I think I'm going to move my jewelry to this one and then put my Fitbit on the little round one when I'm not wearing it. I'm really obsessed with this. It's perfection. On to my second last gift from James. Like I said, Tiffany & Co, just my thing, as you guys already know, it's not a holiday without a little blue bag. I'm still planning on doing an updated Tiffany & Co collection soon. I just really need to get to the mall when I actually have time to get a bunch of my pieces cleaned. I'm really gonna try and get that done next month in January. But what he got me this time is a little necklace from the Return to Tiffany collection. I'll insert a close up of it because it's kind of hard to see, but I had mentioned that I wanted one of the necklaces to match my bracelet with the pink heart on it. So James got me one of the classic double charm Return to Tiffany hearts where it's got the plain silver heart that says Return to Tiffany and then the pink heart with it. It's so cute. I love it. This necklace unfortunately does only come on the 16 inch chain. I like 18 inches at the minimum. 16 is just like too uncomfortable. It sits like right here on my neck and it's just it's just not comfortable I can't like sleep in a necklace that short or anything and I think this is going to be really cute on a really long chain so I think I'm gonna get this quite a bit longer maybe like 22 inches or something like that because I am going to go back to Tiffany's in the new year and get this lengthened pretty much all my necklaces I have are 18 inches so I think it'll be fun to do something different and because it is kind of more like a charm necklace I think it'll just be super cute and my final gift from James I'm trying not to say I'm excited because I feel like I've said I'm excited over everything, but like, I mean, I just am. I can't help it. 
but he got me a Nespresso machine, which the box is empty. I've already set it up, so I'll include a clip of it actually on my counter. But the model I got was the Essenza Mini, which is brand new, I believe. I actually saw it for the first time in a YouTube video a couple months ago, and it's like a really tiny, like apartment friendly kind of Nespresso machine, basically. And I just loved how like small and cute it was. Like we definitely have enough counter space to get a bigger espresso machine, but I just loved it. I thought it was adorable. So they just actually opened a Nespresso store in the mall here and as much as I like loved how this looked and everything I really didn't know much about Nespresso and I didn't know if this was going to be right for me so James and I went together and we talked to one of the sales associates and found out like the difference between all the models and stuff and this one is actually a good fit for what I'm looking for and I actually tried the Espresso too which is probably one of the most important parts they do like free sampling if you go to one of their stores or one of their little boutiques in the bay but, yeah I really liked it I decided it was something I definitely wanted I grew up as a teenager with an espresso machine in my mom's house. That's just like what I'm used to drinking. And we didn't have a coffee machine. We had a Tassimo, but I ended up selling it before we were about to move because neither of us ever used it. So as you would have seen in the close up, I did get the lime green color. I was really debating between the white and the green and like really, really torn on which one to get. I was actually tweeting about it. And when James wanted to buy it, I guess the white was actually sold out, so that basically made up my mind for me. And I love how it looks. I know some people will be like, ooh. It's like more of a chartreuse green, which is actually my favorite color. And I just, I know a lot of people don't like that color though, but it really works in our kitchen. Our kitchen is very black and white. And then we do have pops of green in our decor throughout our kitchen and our main living area. So it works really, really well. And I'm so happy with how it looks. If it was a bigger machine, I definitely would have went with white, but I think because it's so small and it's kind of funky looking, I think the green is really cute. And their machines do come with like a really nice sampler pack as I drop them of a bunch of their different espresso capsules. So you can try them out and see which ones you like because they definitely do have an overwhelming amount. If you guys have an espresso machine, let me know what your favorites are. I like lighter roast coffees. Sorry, I just moved over once again. But then James also got me the Orangette, which is one of their holiday flavors. It's dark chocolate orange. I tried this this morning and it was really good, but it really didn't taste like chocolate orange at all, which is kind of disappointing, but still really delicious espresso. And then one of the things I'm most excited about, they had a Christmas promotion on if you bought any of the espresso machines, then you got a free $100 coffee credit, which is so cool. I'm gonna be able to really stock up. They said that's like the equivalent of like 130 cups of coffee because you can buy roughly 13 sleeves of the capsules and each one has 10 in it. So I'm gonna be stocked for literally so long. And then the last thing I just wanted to share was actually from James's aunt and uncle. And it is one of these huge Kate Spade, like super soft plush fleece throws. It's gray and this is the queen size one. I just wanted to share that because this is from Costco. We saw them the other day and I've seen so many people either buy or receive these during Vlogmas. It's so funny. They've been so popular. I think they were like 40 bucks if anyone is curious, which is really good because Kate Spade home stuff is really expensive. But yeah, excited to use that. So yeah, that is actually everything I got this year and I use the term everything lightly because I know I got insanely spoiled. James always really spoils me and I'm so grateful. We definitely spoil each other. Once again, huge thank you to anyone who wished me a Merry Christmas this year or just gave me a gift. I really appreciate it. Everything will be linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want me to continue doing these videos. Go follow me everywhere on social media. I am at Sarah Rihanna on everything. And hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. But I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.